All right, guys. So today I'm going to explain once and for all how additive animations work. I've looked everywhere on the internet. I looked for research papers, documentation on Unreal. I looked. I even looked for stuff on Unity. I couldn't find anything anywhere. Uh, so I don't know why nobody wants to explain this, but I'm going to explain it to you today. And you're going to even be able to manually calculate this stuff yourself uh, if you choose to. So. By the time you walk away from this, you're going to fully understand how additive animations work and why it does stuff like, like this. So first off, let me explain. This is a reference pose. This is what I'm using as the reference pose. This is, uh, I'm using a copy of this and I'm setting it up as an additive. And I'm setting this up as local space and I'm telling it to use this pose as the additive pose. So I bent it backwards just to demonstrate a point how things seem to work differently than what you would expect them to work. So you'll see this is uh, the additive uh, or the animation I'm setting up as additive. And this right here is the one I'm using as a reference pose. So why is it that inside of here, whenever I uh, simulate it, when I drag it out into the world and I simulate it, uh, this comes out like this you'll see because both of these arms are in the same position. So why is it moving this? I'm going to explain this to you and, and you're going to fully understand this when I do. Also, you're going to fully understand why bending it backwards actually made it go bend forward. So I manually calculated this and set this up on, on here uh, just for the upper arm and the lower arm uh, to demonstrate that this works. So uh, I didn't do it on the fingers, so the fingers are still uh, curled on this one. But in order to understand this, you have to understand that when you bring an anim uh, a character into your uh, game, there's you have a, a, a base pose, and this is called this is considered a reference pose. So if you look over here under reference, and you click this, you'll see that this upper arm L that I have selected, this is the reference. Uh, uh, transform for this bone. So whenever uh, an anim animation is applied to it, uh, it's going to uh, use uh, the. It's going to calculate the delta, and it's going to rotate it by that delta. Uh, and what I mean by delta is a delta is uh, basically the offset or the difference between uh, between this bone and the reference. So that's that's the delta. So in order to in order to understand this, I need to explain it to you. So if we come back over here, let me open up the additive animation for references. You'll see we have a lower arm L. Now on the on the lower arm for the additive, the one I'm, I'm making additive, the rotation of this and the yaw is actually the Z. Uh, this is how it is when you uh, copy it and you paste it. It sw swaps out the Z location. The Z is where the Y would be. Um, and so on and so forth. Yeah, so uh, anyway, so for what what we do is we get the lo the location of or the rotation on, of the pitch on that bone for the additive, and we find out what that same pitch is on that same bone for the uh, reference, and we subtract and we subtract. Uh, the reference from this and how how that looks like is we actually get this and we and we get that and we subtract the, and we subtract the reference from that so it's the additive minus the reference and since both of these are negative we end up with a positive so we end up with this rotation right here and, and uh, Unreal does this for every single one of these bones. And so if a bone is in the same location during both poses, 
meaning that the location hasn't changed, uh, you'll notice something, such as on the upper arm right here. So if we, if we get negative 60.743912 and we subtract negative 60.743912 from that, what does that give us? It gives us zero. So that's a, a delta of zero. So that delta of zero is added to this reference pose. So since zero plus whatever is that, x plus zero is equals x, we end up with the reference pose position. And so if you look back over here, now you'll understand uh, why all this stuff moved, why the fingers moved, why the arm moved, why the legs moved, because we just zeroed this out. So if I come over here and I type in zero, you'll see that I'm going back into my, my base pose. And that's what's happening. So now you understand uh, how additive animations actually work. So why, why does it work uh, this way? Well, why does it look different whenever we uh, set it up inside of here? Because again, like I told you, that these animations uh, are based off of the reference pose. So if, if it has not moved off of that reference pose, then when you apply it, you're adding that back to it. So I'm adding, I'm adding this to uh, that bone location on this. And, and if it's zero, if, if this minus this gave us a delta of zero, then it adds zero to that bone, that current bone location. And that's why this animation is unaffected because it's not changing it because they, uh, the reference is matched. The offsets matched uh, between the reference pose and the additive. Uh, and that's why that didn't change. That's why it stayed the same. So how can we use this? Well, uh, we can use this for layering things on top of other animations uh, seamlessly. In ALS, they use it for a lot of different, re uh, in a lot of different cases, they use it for this breathing. Right now, they're getting this, uh, uh, this ALS end pose right here, and they're applying an additive uh, of breathing. So if we come back over here into the animation blueprint, One second, I gotta go into the overlay layers and I'll show you that right here, they're applying an additive of secondary breathing. And if we open this up, you'll see that ALS in pose uh, is the actual uh, reference pose and it's in, it's in local space. So why do they use local space? What does it mean by local space? Uh, local space means that uh, basically means what you would think it would mean. So as so the local space of, of this forearm L bone, uh, this forearm L bone uh, offset is in relation to its parent. So its parent is the upper arm L. So local space for the forearm L is the upper arm L. How far offset is it from the upper arm L? That's what they mean by local space. Now, when they say mesh space, what they mean is how offset is this from the root bone? If we were to move, if we were to move, like, let me put it like this. How many units do we need to move from the root bone to get to this bone? as opposed to how many units do we need to, to move from this bone, uh, from this bone to get to this bone. So the number of units you need to move to get from this bone to this bone is local space. 
and then and the number of units that you need to move to get from this bone to this bone from this bone to this bone is is mesh space so uh, how does that help us uh, because uh, sometimes like such as aim offsets you want to be able to you want to be able to uh, move this arm relative to uh, to something that doesn't move like the root the root does not move from the mesh space uh, because it's the center of the mesh space so we want to move this up and down left and right in relation to this uh, root bone rather than this this uh, parent bone because if we move it in relation to this parent bone then uh, it's going to be moving it's going to rotate in relation to that and it's not quite as accurate you're going to get some kind of offsets uh, when you do that so in order to make it more accurate as far as uh, moving left and right up and down uh, they they decide to use mesh space uh, for things like aim offsets uh, and that's that's ba the basic breakdown of that. So I hope you guys uh, understand all of this a lot better. Uh, if I left anything out or if you're confused about anything, let me know. And I may do a follow-up video on this in the future. And I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, and have a nice day. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you found it helpful. Thank you.